everyone. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And yes, surprise, I am bringing back for the time being the monthly readings. Now, of course, this is going to be on a trial basis. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we will see what kind of feedback comes in from these videos. So I'll determine then whether to continue them. But for now, this is going to be April 2019. My website is angelsouls444.com. Let's get started. Hello, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on for you for April 2019. People aren't honoring your feelings. So for a lot of you out there, remember these are general readings only, so this won't pertain to everybody. Um, but for some of you out there, I'm feeling like you're a little bit wounded and this, it could be physical. <laughs> it could be that like you had something happen. It doesn't mean it's going to happen. I just feel like it's already there and you're sort of dealing with it. But this could also be sort of emotional wounding where you're not feeling understood. You're not feeling heard. People are getting the wrong idea about you or expecting too much out of you. So jumping to conclusions about who you are and then expecting you to play out what they think you should be. But for you guys out there, this is exhausting. And it's finally, I mean, I feel like it's like it's making you want to uh, sort of turn a corner, maybe with a friendship, maybe with a love partnership. Okay. Because it, it, something is, you're up against a wall now. And there's no other way forward but to finally express how you feel. Do so as lovingly as you can. And really examine, oh, there's a card flopping right out. We'll get to that in a second. Really examine why you've made the choices that you have. So this isn't to overanalyze and to beat yourself up, but really it, it's a learning opportunity. See how you got into this situation or um, in this place in your life and ask yourself, why am I not understood? Do I not speak up for myself enough? Or if I do speak up for myself, do I allow people to diminish what I just said or to criticize me too much? So that's kind of the energy that I'm feeling coming through. And the angels are definitely bringing forward this sort of nurturing feeling. And they want you to know that no matter what, if other humans don't understand you, they do. And they love you. You are never alone. Okay. So the card that popped out is Tanzanite Clarity. This is very much an Archangel Michael kind of energy because he does help you with clarity and seeing yourself for who you really are. So for a lot of people, there's like a new way forward. This feels though, let me just put that up so you can get the energy of it for another second. But this definitely feels like something is revealed. Something pops out of nowhere. And for some of you, I'm sorry to say, this could be like, I didn't know that about that person, <laughs> right? Or, um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of an example. I used to have this friend who I thought was my best friend. And then some of that kind of energy came up and I started getting weird feelings about her. And then I caught her stealing business ideas and working behind my back to destroy my business. <laughs> yes, she was out there um, putting down my 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 business and my channel and all that stuff and this was my best friend so that's the kind of feeling maybe not as dramatic as all that but definitely it could be something surprising that you learn about someone it could be someone leaving the company and you're like wait a minute <laughs> does that mean i have to take over everybody's work so just be on the lookout for that all right so we have rose quartz inner child so whatever clarity some of you this is uh, getting clarity about your childhood and what needs to be healed. Now, Rose Quartz is all about love and feeling comforted. Again, nurturing, yes? Um, patterns picked up in childhood, okay? Yep, so you're getting clarity around some of the patterns that you picked up in childhood, what you learned from the people around you, and now just out of self-love, that's really what this is, out of self-love <laughs> and self-care, you're, you're going, you know what, I'm gonna unplug from all of those fears that maybe were put into me or I'm going to unplug from what people keep telling me I have to do and I'm going to carry on my own way okay a lot of self-love oh god I thought this was a self-love card because <laughs> there's a I think it's kunzite in here somewhere in this deck that says self-love but anyway it's cooperite rites of passage so this makes a lot of sense with what I was feeling in the beginning where you feel like you're neither here nor there you're in purgatory you know, that place of in-between, right? But this is talking about, you know, you guys have been through a lot and you've been through a lot of tests and trials and 
you know, you're coming out the other side. It may not fully happen this month, but definitely it has taught you a lot. And we were saying about, you know, some patterns from childhood coming, coming to the surface to be healed. And that rite of passage card is talking about, well, this is how you got here. You had to experience all of those things so that you could have this awareness and start to heal. Okay. So nothing was a waste of time. It might've been a hard time, but you, you've come very, very far. Okay. And we have hematite grounding. So try not to allow things to get you too upset. Remember, you always have you, you always have your spiritual team, you have the angels. And this is showing somebody that needs to not only ground and not escape out of their body or out of their situation. We see this so often with people who are like, oh, I'm spiritually ascending. I'm not a part of the physical world anymore. Yes, you are. <laughs> you still are in a physical body. So you are a part of this physical world. And if you don't you know, want to be integrated into your body, well, what happens? You leave yourself open and very, very vulnerable. So this is asking you to integrate higher self with the physical self. You can work with uh, Archangel Sandalfin to help you with that. But hematite is also very, very protective. So there are some of you out there, maybe you've just been through so much that you feel, okay, the world needs to leave me alone for a minute, <laughs> all right? This could also, all of these things together, could absolutely indicate burnout. I mean, you might, you might need that vacation. You know what I mean? But let me get you a color card. Let's see what we have here. Coral. That could be like a beach. <laughs> you can read into it. Any excuse to get to the beach, right? Um, allow flow and synchronicity into your life. The number is 18. So be done with forcing things. Be done with trying to contrive what you think your life should look like. Be in the flow and sync. What does it say? Yeah, allow flow and synchronicity into your life. When you're in that flow and synchronicity, now the universe has a chance to work with you. Yes. And it doesn't take as much energy, right? It doesn't take as much energy and you don't have to keep beating your head against the wall, right? Because I feel like a lot of you might feel like you're very much alone, as we said, you know, and, and this is definitely saying, no, no, no. You feel alone because you're, you're shoving yourself into a corner and then you, maybe you say, all, all I see is a wall. What am I supposed to do? Well, you're supposed to turn around. You're supposed to see that there is a lot of love and support around you. Okay, so we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.